What is UCI and how can we measure with it? Let's find out right now. For a quick mobile hardness measurement, there are several hardness measurement methods out in the market. Today I will show you the UCI method. I'm Thorsten and I'm a specialist for mobile hardness testing. Hardness is the mechanical resistance of a material against the penetration of an even harder body, that's the indenter. Depending on the indentation method, a wide variety of parameters are measured and used to do the conversion to the final hardness value. Please note that hardness is not a pro material property. It can be used to determine material properties such as wear resistance, strength and toughness. This makes it easier to decide whether the material or the material treatment is suitable for the desired task of the measured test piece. UCI is the method which is used in our case to perform the mobile hardness tests. UCI is called ultrasonic contact impedance. These two terms define that technology very well. Let's look at this with the help of a small video. This is the structure of a UCI probe. The probe rod will be stimulated to oscillate in longitudinal direction at its natural frequency. At the lower free end, there is a Vickers diamond, which is pressed into the material to be tested. A defined load will be applied with a spring. When the Vickers diamond penetrates the test piece, this oscillation is damped and a frequency shift occurs, which can be measured, the contact impedance. When the nominal test load is reached, the hardness value is calculated from this frequency shift using the Wicker scale and it will be displayed immediately. Due to the small indentation size and depth, the method is therefore often considered as non-destructive. Let's take a look in practice. Here we have our UCI probe. We have a hardness block for testing and we have a measurement device for showing all the measurements we do with our probe. What we have to do is connect the probe with the device and then we can straight away start measuring. What I'll do is I'll find a position to measure. So this is a very stable position recommended for uh, measuring and such hardness blocks. And what I'll do is I'll press the probe straight down to get measurements. So we'll see. We'll have measurements. This is a 401 hardness measurement block. We get measurements according to our block. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, please subscribe to our channel and also please thumbs up for the video.